Ever wondered how rich Ireland really is? Let's explore the economic prosperity of Ireland. Nestled in the heart of the Atlantic, this Emerald Isle is more than just rolling landscapes and charming folklore. Did you know that Ireland is an airline powerhouse? Many multinational aircraft companies currently operate in Ireland, including their homegrown Ryanair Airlines. Today, this small island nation manages nearly 22% of the fleet of aircraft worldwide and a 40% share of that global fleet of leased aircraft. That's impressive for a country as small as Ireland, isn't it? Within a few decades, Ireland went from being a poor and third world country to a highly advanced economy. The country became a European headquarters for international corporations because of its stable political and economic system. But how did it all happen and how do we measure a nation's wealth? Through key indicators from GDP per capita to foreign direct investment and even the number of millionaires and billionaires. So what exactly makes Ireland one of the wealthiest nations? Let's delve deeper. One of the most important indicators of a nation's wealth is its GDP per capita. This acronym GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product and when we say per capita we are essentially breaking down the GDP in terms of each individual in the country. It gives us a per person economic output which can be a more accurate representation of a country's standard of living than just the total GDP. Now let's talk about where Ireland stands. According to the GDP Adjusted for Purchasing Power Parity or PPP, Ireland proudly stands second in the world. The PPP adjustment is important because it helps us understand how much individuals can actually buy with their income in their home country. It's not just about the money you make, but how much that money can buy you. Ireland's ranking is impressive, but it's not just the GDP per capita where the Emerald Isle shines. Other wealth indicators also paint a picture of prosperity. For instance, the Gini coefficient, which measures income inequality, shows that Ireland has one of the lowest levels of income inequality in the world. And we're not done yet. Ireland's Human Development Index, a composite statistic of life expectancy, education and per capita income, is also among the highest globally. This means that not only do the Irish have a high standard of living, but they also enjoy long lives and have access to quality education. Clearly, Ireland's impressive GDP per capita is a testament to its economic strength, but there's more to the story. We'll unpack more about Ireland's wealth in the upcoming topics. Stay tuned. Another key contributor to Ireland's wealth is its success in attracting foreign direct investment. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is foreign direct investment or FDI as it's often abbreviated. Well, in simple terms, FDI is an investment made by a firm or individual in one country into business interests located in another country. These investments often take the form of establishing business operations or acquiring business assets in the foreign country, such as ownership or controlling interest in a foreign company. So why does this matter? Well, FDI is a crucial engine of economic growth. It can create jobs, build industries, foster innovation and drive economic development. And Ireland has been a standout performer in this regard, with its low corporate tax rates, highly skilled workforce and strategic location as a gateway to Europe, Ireland has become a magnet for FDI. In fact, many of the world's leading multinational corporations, including tech giants like Apple, Google and Facebook, have established their European headquarters in Ireland. Speaking of tech giants, let's delve into Ireland's status as a tech hub. Over the last couple of decades, Ireland has transformed itself into a vibrant tech hub, earning the nickname Silicon Docks. This is largely due to the country's focus on education and innovation, particularly in STEM fields, which has resulted in a tech-savvy workforce. Furthermore, the government's pro-business policies and support for startups have fostered a thriving tech ecosystem. This tech boom has not only attracted investment and created jobs, but has also led to significant wealth generation. It has boosted Ireland's GDP, spurred innovation, and made the country a global leader in technology. It's a virtuous cycle where success breeds success. The presence of big tech firms attracts more investment, which in turn creates more jobs and generates more wealth. So, with a thriving tech sector and robust foreign investment, Ireland is indeed a wealthy nation. But what about the people who call Ireland home? When we talk about wealth, we can't ignore the people who have amassed significant fortunes. 
Ireland, the country that we've been exploring, is no exception. It boasts an impressive number of millionaires and billionaires, each contributing to the country's overall wealth. Now, let's delve into the world of millionaires. Ireland is home to approximately 115,000 millionaires. That's right. These individuals have a net worth of at least 1 million euros, excluding their primary residence. They range from successful entrepreneurs to top executives, from tech innovators to property moguls, each playing their part in driving the Irish economy forward. But the wealth doesn't stop there. In the stratosphere of the super wealthy, we find the billionaires. Although fewer in number, their influence is indisputable. Ireland is home to a select group of around 17 billionaires. Their wealth is vast, spanning industries as diverse as aviation, pharmaceuticals and technology. The contributions of these billionaires to Ireland's wealth are significant, whether it's through their businesses, investments or philanthropy. The presence of these high net worth individuals further solidifies Ireland's status as a wealthy nation. But wealth isn't just about money. Wealth also encompasses the quality of life and well-being of a country's citizens. In Ireland, this is reflected in a comprehensive social welfare system. It's designed to support those who need it most, reducing poverty and income inequality. This system ensures that everyone, regardless of their financial situation, has access to basic necessities. But it's not just about safety nets. Ireland is committed to investing in its people. The country boasts a high-quality healthcare system, ensuring that every citizen has access to essential medical services. Ireland also prioritizes education, providing opportunities for all to learn and grow. These social services, funded by the wealth of the nation, enhance the standard of living for everyone. This commitment to social welfare and quality of life is a testament to Ireland's wealth. It's a wealth not just measured in dollars and cents, but in the well-being of its people. So from its impressive GDP per capita to its commitment to social welfare, it's clear that Ireland is indeed a wealthy nation. So how does the future look for Ireland? Due to a tense geopolitical situation in the world, among other factors, Ireland experienced a slowdown in economic growth, leading to weakened performance in key sectors. However, Ireland's future looks rather bright. Despite high inflation, domestic demand grew moderately while investment remained subdued. Employment remained high and inflation is expected to ease gradually. The fiscal outlook is solid with higher expenditure rates and a lower government debt to GDP ratio. As we reach the end of our comprehensive exploration into Ireland's wealth, we want you to remember that your opinion matters. This is an open forum for discussion. We encourage you to share your thoughts and perspectives. Do you believe that Ireland's economy will continue to thrive? Do you see any potential challenges that we haven't mentioned? Let's start a dialogue in the comments section below. We also invite you to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos like this one. We cover a wide range of topics, not just economics. Whether you're interested in personal finance, wealth building, technology or global economics, we've got something for you. Thank you for investing your time with us today. We hope you found this video enlightening. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Your support helps us to continue providing quality content. Stay tuned for more and as always, keep learning.